Good afternoon. This is the 24th of September, and this is Rosie's litter of 10 uh, puppies. So, this is kind of like crazy out here with them playing. They are all sold but four puppies. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the collar colors on the first four. They're salt and pepper. Females is what is left. And the puppy out here with the neon pink collar. She's right back there in the back playing with the black standard with the yellow collar. She is got the neon pink collar. She is still available. The puppy with the light pink collar is still available. And let me see if I can find her. Okay, I see her. She is, there she popped out. There she is. She's got the light pink collar on. The white puppy that she's playing with, the collar, the white collar puppy, is also still available. And the last one in here that's available is the salt and pepper female with the yellow collar. And she is right back there in the back corner. So those four girls are still available. Everyone else in this litter is sold. So I'm going to go down through here, and I know that many of you that have been watching them or have already purchased one have noticed a massive difference in them today. Today was haircut day. I love them with haircuts. They are so cute. They look like little mini me's. Um, they look just like mini Dexters and mini Rosies with their haircut. So they've all had a haircut, including the black ones. Um, the black ones show up a little bit more of my non-professional skills with uh, black hair coats because I cut them really short today. That way that hair coat is going to last me for about four more weeks. So um, I cut them really short. Some of my lines aren't real straight. I'm seeing as they're running across there. It kind of shows up more on the salt and peppers. But uh, and anyway, you get the gist of it and, and we'll straighten up the next haircut. So, um, hopefully all of you will be able to spot your collar colors in there. Um, there's the turquoise and the neon green collar. It's like, I just don't know what I'm doing. Uh, what's this? This is the turquoise collar puppy right here underneath me. And who else is out here on this end? Um, we did the green. This is the light pink collared female that's still available. There's the peach or orange collar. I guess she's a peach colored black collar. The black puppy with the peach collar. And let's see who else is down here on the far end. Uh, the red collared puppy. Is it red or orange? It's so hard to tell. I think it's red. Is right there. It's the black puppy. I don't know why my screen just went a little bit blurry on me. And that's the black male also. Um, Alright, who else is down there? If I had a fly swatter, I would swat him and tell him no bark, but I didn't bring it with me. Um, the forest green collar male is coming right here at us. Right there underneath me. And there he goes again. These guys are really, really, really picking up weight. Um, it's unreal how much they've grown. They are keeping us hopping. That's crazy. They're totally, totally, totally little individual people at this point. Um, because we have raised them strictly in our house, they're a little bit yappier than normal. So we're working on the no bark very hard. So when they go home, you're not going to have to deal with it. Um, normally we raise everybody in the kennel until they're ready to be weaned and then they come in the house and I got, I can't do it. I got to swap this puppy. No bark, no bark. And he's going to come right back and bark again. Unfortunately, it's the green collared salt and pepper male. He's like, I'm just not happy. There's the yellow collared black female. And who else am I haven't not got? Here comes the white collar. And the peach collar. And she's a whining at us. So that kind of covers everybody, I hope. Um, so I'm going to let you watch him play. I really wish somebody would bring me a fly swatter. Uh, he's going to go away now. That's good. He's realizing I'm not going to pay any attention to him. They're itchy. I just, just shaved the last puppy and gave it a haircut. 
I am covered in gray and black hair on my t-shirt. Uh, these guys are going to get their first shot this week. They're going to get wormed again, which they're actually in the process of doing right now. We're doing a seven day with safeguard. So we're working on that right now. Um, they're totally on dry dog food. They totally love their cottage cheese and eggs in the morning. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you? They're very, very social. They love all of us. They think we're their moms. Uh, they are in, we've separated them, so there's five in one kennel and five in the other kennel. Uh, right outside our office window, up, oh, pulling on ears, that's not fair. This is a typical little schnauzer scrap. I'll tell you what, they are the orniest things. They grab everybody's ears. They want to fight and argue with ears. They're going to bark. Jill's just walking by with a, a poodle that just got a back. So they're going to bark as she goes by, but they're not going to pay too much attention. Um, they've been getting a weekly bath. They're going to get their toes trimmed again today. Normally we do it on Mondays, but we did not get to it this Monday. So today is toenail day for them, so they're not going to like me very well. And other than that, that's really where we're at right now with them. Um, there's about every color collar at one shot underneath me. Those two are still having issues. They're still arguing with each other. She's not going to let it go, so now the pink collar one says, I've had enough, I'm going to come right back at you. So typical snau standard schnauzer personality with each other. They love to argue with each other. And this is the way I like them. All <laughs> I like them when they don't pay any attention to you when you stand here. But I have a red collar and the neon green collar under me that are just demanding my attention. So basically, when you get these guys home, you are going to want to set rules, boundaries, and limitations. And I'm going to, he just backed off because he knew I was going to swat him. No bark. No bark. I'm going to, I'm going to kick a gravel at him. So he says, well, maybe I'll shut off. He said, these guys might get attention, so I'm coming up here. Uh, current weights on these guys, I'll try and put them on the photos this week because uh, I think a couple of the big ones are close to four and a half to five pounds right now. Uh, they may be over five pounds because I know they're getting to be chunks. And everybody is gaining great. I think in the next week or ten days they're going to just go up like crazy with leaps and bounds. So um, they're hitting that schnauzer stride where they really, really pack on their size. They're going in on the 30th and be spayed and neutered. And uh, if you have not booked in for a pickup date, at this point, uh, because of a business obligation I have, they will be going home from the 13th on, so uh, of October. So if you want, give me a call and we'll be glad to book you in for a pickup date. No bark. He says, oh, well, I guess she means it. He might, that might kind of change. There he goes. He's finally going to change his brain a little bit. Now the orange one's going to do it. <laughs> the peach color collar. Uh, this has been a really fun group. Um, this is Rosie's uh, first litter. And I don't know. I think Amy's going to breed her one more time. And then they're having her spayed. So probably later on next year sometime she'll have another litter. Um, probably about this same time. But they're uh, they're not going to continue raising puppies with her. They're just going to do this first litter and then one other one and then she's going to be spayed. So that's kind of the, the story on Rosie. Uh, right now she's back home. We sent her home on Sunday and she really was done being mom. She wanted to, she was really homesick. So she's back with the kids. They live about 15 minutes from me and uh, so she did go home, and she's thrilled to be home. She got a bath and a haircut, and her toenails done, and stretched out on the couch. And she was like, oh, I'm home. So uh, she's missed being home with the kids, that's for sure. 
and their little toy Schnauzer has missed her terribly. But um, I'll try and get her back here on the days that they're going to go home, and that way you can see Rosie. But she is a sweetie. Well, I'm going to close for now. I hope everybody has spotted their puppies. And like I said, there's four females still available. So if you have questions and would like some information that isn't maybe answered for you on the website, please feel free to give me a call. It's always best to call me this time of year versus email me because of as busy as we are here. Uh, between the kennel and getting everything ready for the cold weather and the garden and everything else I'm doing and canning and doing applesauce, phone calls are the best. So have a great week. Hope you've enjoyed their video and we'll talk to you soon.